Hello everyone, T-Man978. I just unboxed this guy from TF Basement. Sent to me for review. Thank you, Jonathan. But um, if you go to TF Basement and use promo code T-Man978, you get 5% off of your purchase. You know, this is Core Class Soundwave from Transformers Kingdom. This is the back of the box. And yeah, nobody cares. Let me get it out. T Man 978 Chill Review. Here he is out of the package and follow me on Instagram. I have all my social media links in the description. You can see what my next Transformers review is going to be if you go there. But this is an awesome little dude. What's the use of these? And I don't know. Every time I watch videos and people talk about, like, I don't know why they make these these this scale or whatever because of course if you didn't know core class is significantly smaller than somebody like voyager class scale sound wave right here the reason why they make these is because they try to have the main characters at a affordable price point because ten dollars is their magical price point deluxe class used to be ten dollars and that was doing really good for them. So they try to make sure that they have some good quality entry entry level Transformers for everybody. Plus you can mix and match them with your Titan class guys like that turn into the bases and cities and whatnot. Or you can make them be smaller versions of themselves that go up against the combiners if you don't think the combiners are big enough. But here's Soundwave. And let me bring up this one again. Looking at their color, he is uh, purpley blue just like that new Nintendo Switch Lite that just came out and amazingly this thing has all the articulation that the original G1 Soundwave have, has but more because let's let you see the head it rotates it can tilt side to side a little bit the original can do that and it looks up by going back on a ball joint, similar to the original. The original can't do this. <clears throat> it can't go 90 degrees, but if you rotate it this way, you can still get the arm pointed out. The original can do this. And of course, it can rotate on this ball joint. The ball joint on the, on the shoulder is very tight. So because that's tight and the elbow joint isn't as tight, and you can, of course, get outward motion with that. You can sometimes make this pop off the ball joint because you're trying to work in conjunction with this ball joint. He doesn't have a waist swivel, unfortunately, but the legs can go all the way out, can go back a tiny taste. It can only come forward this much without moving the crotch skirt. And you know how I feel about crotch skirts. Move the crotch skirt up and yeah, it's looking dumb. I hate that. It has knee, 90 degrees of knee bend. It has swivel on the thigh. That's amazing. Usually something like this wouldn't have it, but technically it needs to have it for the transformation. And the foot can rock back like this. It's on a ball joint, but you can't really get any ankle pivot out of that and the foot swivels. This gun, unfortunately, they made the peg long enough, but it does not stay in either one of these hands well at all that is super unfortunate they tried to make him look similar to this design right here but they didn't need him to actually have this cassette detail because it doesn't transform like that and let's see if this shoulder can and can fit in the hand better no so the holes in the hands are very loose let me put this in here see what happens yeah, that's tight up there, just like the shoulder cannon. It's a good thing the shoulder cannon is tight, because that always falls off on all of my sound waves that has a removable shoulder cannon. But they're hollow at the bottom, both of them. And let's get you some comparisons to other core class, like this Megatron right there. 
Megatron is slightly bigger looking. Here's Vertebrake and Starscream. They're all roughly the same height. So, yeah. Let's take this little Megatron pistol right there and see if Soundwave can actually hold this. Yeah, he holds that tighter. So if you want to replicate Soundwave shooting off Megatron, pow, 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 pow. there you have it. And the sculpt and detail are nice, as you can see. Like, they put the shoulder detail, they put this detail right there. The uh, It doesn't say play AM pause on there, but yeah. And I hope you saw everything as I was spinning around. He does come with a cassette, which is basically a miniature masterpiece laser beak. It looks exactly the same on the back, but it's just painted black. Here's the inside detail on the chest. And there are two little nubs in there that hold it at the bottom. But this is, it does peg in there. I wasn't, it is based, it is using friction. This button doesn't work. The button is in a different color. And of course the hand can't touch that button like at all. So I can break it off of the ball joint to fake it out, but yeah, no. And let's just go straight into my transformation. Transformation, take the guns off of them. Flip these hands back, flip the hands back. Rotate the head and shove it in there. Now we need to, there are two pegs right here on his butt. They need to go into these grooves right here. So swing that back to hit like this. Swing that back, hit like that. Like I said, these shoulders are tight on a ball joint. You may have to angle them once you do that to get it straight and flush. Now, put the legs like this and bring that up. Peg it onto the side of his body because he has these two pegs. Transforms just like the G1 toy. And they show you to do this. And now it has I guess the radio details right there. It has a knob right here. Nothing on that side, but here he is in his cassette mode. That looks like that when you lift it up if you wanted to see that. And you still have access to the cassette. You could, if you wanted to, grab these weapons and peg them into what used to be his legs. And now it sits on like that. And here's something I'd been wanting to see forever in every video that I want uh, that I watched, but didn't. You can put this up here. Of course, since these are on a ball joint, they rotate. You can rotate it around, and here's what it would look like. It's flat up there, and some third-party company could make some something to bake a handle over there. And it could be a straight up boom box if they wanted to. Only thing about doing this is the control dials are up there. But like I said, if that third party company makes it, it could just be a handle up there. And this gun, the Megatron gun can sit right there. Here's this right here. For the two people who cared about this, here's this. I kind of feel like this does it better. That whole rotating the legs thing, I just wish they retooled this a lot, lot more than they did. They used the Seeds version and this protrudes right there, which doesn't look right. And this is supposed to be on the inside right there, but now it's on the outside. So this honestly pulls it off a lot better. Soundwave isn't designed to be a boombox. He's a micro cassette player. That was a little tiny MP3 player, if y'all know what that means. Little kids, for the kids out there. I do my videos for growing up, so. Boombox. He's not supposed to be a boombox. He's supposed to be a little tiny Walkman type thing. Smaller than a Walkman because it plays micro cassettes. 
But as you can see, this is what it looks like with a 7-inch action figure. Not too bad, to be honest with you. Thoughts on this? Not too bad, like I said. But reverse transformation. I'm going to take the weapons back off. Bring the feet up. Rotate them back to their orientation. Unpeg it from the side. Rotate it that way. Unpeg it from the side. Rotate it that way. Rotate the arms like this and bring the hands forward. Grab right here. Pull the head out. Rotate it around. Then we can take his concussion blaster. Put that there. And put this back in his hands. This is awesome. It would have been cool if they could have figured out a way swivel, but I don't think... Some of the smaller ones have a way swivel like Megatron. When they can incorporate it, do the transformation, they do it. And I wish the ankles, with them being on a ball joint, I wish they could pivot a little bit. That would have been super nice. But it is a small, tiny $10 action figure. But what you gonna do? I think it's really cool that he comes with both of his main weapons, because sometimes they would skimp out back in the day, just give you one blaster and not even give you the hand blaster and on top of that they fully basically painted them and gave you this little cassette to mimic laser beak i think that's really cool that it comes with all that so yeah worth it thank you once again to tf basement for sending this out to me like i said in the beginning Use the promo code TMAN978 if you go to tfbasement.com, get 5% off your purchase. Once again, I'm going to say this. Follow me on my social media stuff, especially Instagram. I'm always on Instagram and Facebook. A little bit more than I am on Twitter. But if you do at me on Twitter, I will read that message. If it's relevant to me, I, I will reply. Thank you for watching this. TMAN978. Out of here. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos.